Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today we're going to do another Router Bob out and about trip and we're at Lakeville North High School in Lakeville, Minnesota and we're going to learn about their exciting STEM manufacturing program. Had I, had I had some CNC woodworking and metalworking equipment, I know I would have been like, this is what I want to do. If I didn't have a CNC router to make you one. That's the problem is I get excited and I start talking. I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's so fun. You know, like, like I say, not, snooze for me isn't an option. I get right up and I can't wait to come in because we're going to be doing this today and I'm working on that. Ah, messed that up. Sorry. Well, a little bit about myself and what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm a tech ed teacher. It's been 24 years now I've been in the industry doing this. Uh, graduated from high school, coming from a, a father who was a sheet metal worker, kind of a hands-on guy, built it all himself out of his uh, garage at home, and that inspired me. I, I got in real good at my shop teachers at, in high school when I was a kid, and I was always the one that wanted to come in early and, and work on welds, or, you know, can I learn this new piece of equipment you have, or can I stay and help you fix this? I just like tinkering, I like working with my hands. And as years progressed, and I was in the high school level and, and getting ready to graduate, you know, even my high school teachers are like, you know, you have such a passion for this. You're, you're like our student assistant helping other kids. You should get in education and, and do this for a career so you can teach kids kind of the way you learned it and, and show them your excitement for it. So that's how I got into the teaching. It was, uh, it was kind of just a no-brainer for me because I loved it. I loved, I loved learning. I always loved learning new things. I still try to learn new things. But I also love teaching. I love seeing, you know, friends learn things that I was teaching them. And, um, you know, when my dad would talk, talk to me about different techniques and things to do around the farm, I just, I sucked it all in and I was just so, so excited to try it, you know. And becoming a teacher is great because now I can, I can pay it forward and pass on what I've learned and I can look at all the people who have influenced me and helped me become a better person and I can pass that energy on to my students and hopefully that I'll have uh, a student 25, 30 years, 40 years from now sitting in a chair talking to somebody about exactly why you know, I inspired him the way my teachers inspired me. So, you know, this is a revolving door of learning. It's a place that, you know, you want to teach the next generation what's the right way to uh, problem solve and troubleshoot and how to become just a good employee and a good person. And, you know, school's not supposed to be just all about sitting in the desk and being bored. It's about hands-on. It's working with, with your digits, you know, and your mind and taking things in your head and seeing them come to life using the tools and equipment that are available to you. So I'm here at Lakeville North High School in Lakeville, Minnesota, I'm teaching career in tech ed. This is a manufacturing, engineering, technology, STEM uh, class. The goal here uh, with this is obviously STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, math. How do we implement all those into a curriculum that's going to be rigorous and teach kids not only how to use the equipment, have fun with it, but to find a career path that they're going to be successful in and have a great life. You know, I always tell my students that come into class that there's a difference between a job and a career. Job isn't lifelong usually. I mean, sometimes it works out, but you want to find a career path. Career is something you invest your life in, your company invests in you back, and it's just a, it's a happy uh, partnership so that you get up every day and you don't have to hit snooze 20 times saying, man, I got to go to this job, you know? When the alarm goes off, you're up going, oh, I can't wait to get in today because we're working on this project or this new piece of equipment's ready to go. And what's fun about teaching here is that I have all this awesome equipment uh, to implement with, this, with the STEM idea. And it's giving these kids a real world experience to really make it a marketable in this economy. You know, there's businesses looking for employees all over the place. And with my class, we're gonna learn how to use a CNC router and a laser engraver and a, all the woodworking equipment. So if they want a construction or a wood-related career path, that's gonna be their form. We have a CNC uh, plasma cutting uh, table. We have welding booths, so if they wanna get a metal fabrication in that area, there's opportunities for them. We have a 3D printing lab where they work with engineering design in 3D print products. We have a full-size, uh, large-format banner printer so they can work on their graphic design skills and create uh, projects there. And it's just a way to really open their eyes to as many doors as I can that are career related. So a student uh, enrolled here at Lakeville North uh, can graduate after they've got 32 credits. Out of those 32 credits, they're allowed 13 electives to choose from. And the goal of an elective is to take a passion or a skill that a kid loves and hopefully push them to that career path option and show them what's out there. So in uh, a school like mine, it's a big school, but there's minimal electives. I mean, 13's not a lot in a school day, I mean, for a kid that's gonna only be here for four years. So you really have to market and you have to have a program that's gonna be rigorous, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be up to date, and really teach them 
what's going on in the real world nowadays. And that's what I was able to create with this manufacturing engineering technology lab, using all this new equipment, and it gives kids a top-notch experience. They're building partnerships with schools and industry, and they're, they're successful. You know, the bottom line is how can I make my students become successful? And parents see that, and they want their kids to come take these classes because they're gaining some real-world valuable skills of teamwork and problem solving. And I go through just how to be a good, good employee, you know, showing up on time and working together. So in our manufacturing engineering technology class, we have multiple levels. We start off with level one, which is just um, getting them exposed to the technologies. You know, look at what's out here, what, what do we have for equipment, how do you use it, how do you be safe, and how do you actually um, start to finish, create a project that you can take home and give to mom, you know, and get some brownie points with. So in level one we start in all the different areas of manufacturing, engineering, and technology, teamwork, problem solving, and then we go to each piece of equipment and they do one project. So for instance, in the woods here we have our Shop Saber uh, uh, router and they do one wood sign that they take home. Um, we go into the metal shop, they make one CNC plasma cut sign, they take it home. We use our epilog lasers, they laser engrave uh, in some different medias. And each of these pieces of equipment, it teaches them that there's opportunities with your mind and your creative talents that you can have a career path in any one of these areas. So level one was exploration, then we get to level two, where the students can again re-enroll, take the level two, and at this point now it's about them picking the areas they really love. What piece of equipment really sparked your interest? What got you excited? And what do you want to do with it? You know, you, the ball's in their court now to become engineers. Tell me what you want to make with that piece of equipment. Come up with a plan. You got to figure out everything. There's a project proposal they fill out where they have to look at what they want to do, draw it up, have all their specifications, do a material and bills list, know how much it's going to cost, and then be able to actually create it, finish it, and have it ready to go at the very end. And it's so cool because these kids in level two, they're, they're taking their excitement for the machine now and they're, they're pushing it to another level. You know, they're becoming engineers, they're becoming master craftsmen and fabricators, and they're starting to realize things they love and even stuff they don't love, and that's a good thing, you know, but what they really love is now they're able to take that and just push it to the next level. And we try to keep them going as far as we can, and the more they learn and the more these machines are being used, the happier we all are. All right, so now when we get into level three, now we take the students who have really shown a, a passion and interest in this area and they want to look at potential career fields in it. And what we're going to do now is kind of hone their skills in manufacturing. Show them how the real world does things. How do you mass produce a product? How do you get everything laid out and do more than just one and have it all be the same and, and meet standards? And at that point, when they get through that, they can look at now if they really love this, hey, now we have some companies that are out there with open doors waiting for someone just like you to come in and start work for them. And we can do paid internships through the school during the school day. Uh, they do summer internships. And it's just, it's a great way for them to build that, that um, you know, that bridge to, uh, with that company so that they know where they need to go when they're ready to, to move out of these doors. So I was at a workshop one summer and there were some CEOs from some manufacturing companies here. And we were there to kind of learn what, what, what are they looking for in employees and what's gonna make a good student be ready for them uh, when they get outside our doors. And we came up with what's called the 10 Commandments of School and Career Success. And it's just a good way to make sure that these students understand that you're held, you know, under certain standards that you need to follow if you're going to be a good employee. Um, the Ten Commandments on this are one of them is be positive, obviously have a good attitude. Uh, show up, just be in there, get there to work every day, don't have an excuse. Uh, working hard, putting all you got into it every single day. Uh, getting along, you know, you're never going to work with your best friends always, you know, sometimes there could be enemies, you got to learn how to work well with them. Uh, pay it forward, you know, do more than it was asked of you, go above and beyond, do that extra effort. Be flexible, you know, always have a plan A, B, and C. Uh, figure it out, you know, be a problem solver, not a problem asker. Try to take what you learn now and use your mind and figure out the problem before you raise your hand. Uh, join the club, you know, be proud of what we're doing here in this organization and all the stuff you're working with. It's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, no whining, obviously that one hits home with a lot of teachers, you know. We don't want to hear whining, you know. If life was easy and everything was a piece of cake, yeah, it would be a different story. But, you know, challenges are going to be there. Don't whine about it, find a way to figure it out. And the last one is to keep learning, you know, always put more in. I'm still learning, you know, I don't know it all, I never will. But I'm trying to show the kids that, you know, the more you can stuff in there before your time's up, the better. So when I was creating this program, you know, obviously I wanted to use the best of the best and get really good high quality equipment here. So I did a lot of research. I looked around, 
I weighed out all the pros and cons of all the machines out there, different companies, and um, every time I, I went to the table and looked, Shop Saber was at the top of my list, you know. And there's a number of reasons, you know. The quality components that I saw they use, they're made in America, USA. And, you know, I just saw a lot of the, the, the passion that Shop Saber puts in their machines to be something that I want to instill in my students and show them this is good equipment. So we ended up going with the uh, router and the plasma table, both Shop Saber. And when I realized I was going to go with Shop Saber, I gave them a call and just said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm a teacher, I'm putting in this equipment, what do you think? And they knew right away what was going to be the best option for me with the kids, what's going to be the most user friendly, uh, best availability for our space. And you know, it's been great because now these kids are super successful on these pieces of equipment. I'm having fun teaching it, they're having fun learning on it. And if I had to tell anybody out there that was even thinking about it, don't hesitate with Shop Saber. It's quality, it works. I'm not spending every day working on fixing it. We're spending every day working on working on it, just watching it do its thing and, and being amazed by all the cool creations that students have been coming up with. You know, I'm really excited for the future. You know, this class, this whole area, the STEM learning that we're doing, it's just going like wildfire with all this new equipment we've been using. Um, just in the, the short time we've had the Shop Saber equipment in place, my enrollment's already doubled, I have a waiting list. At parent-teacher conferences, every parent that comes there's, tells me that their students said this is their favorite class and that they can't wait to keep pursuing it and get in it next year and take it again and, and find that career path and, and go to work and come back and be successful. So, I mean, in closing with something like this, it's just, it's a win-win. I can't say enough uh, about Shop Saber and, and thank them for, for a high quality product and helping me take this STEM class to the next level. Kevin, thank you so much for letting us come in and see your exciting program. So glad to have you. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.